Divorce is messy and expensive. Both parties can spend a lot of money in attorney's fees fighting over property division, especially when a successful business is involved. In United States v. Gilmore, the United States Supreme Court considered whether legal costs incurred in divorce litigation defending against property division were deductible from gross income. Don Gilmore was a successful owner and manager of multiple franchised automobile dealerships. However, Gilmore wasn't as lucky in love. Gilmore and his wife, Dixie, decided to divorce. During their divorce litigation, Dixie claimed that the dealerships were community property and should be divided. If successful, Gilmore stood to lose his controlling interest in the business, along with his salary as president, dividends from his stock, and the dealer franchises. As a result, Gilmore incurred significant legal expenses defending against Dixie's claim. Ultimately, the California Supreme Court granted the divorce but rejected Dixie's claim to the dealership property. On his federal income tax return, Gilmore deducted his legal costs under Section 23A2, now Section 212, of the tax code. Gilmore argued that he incurred the legal fees to conserve the dealership's property, which he held for the production of income. The Commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service determined that all of Gilmore's legal expenses were personal in nature. As a result, the Commissioner disallowed the deduction and assessed back taxes. Gilmore paid the assessment and sued for a refund. The United States Court of Claims ruled in Gilmore's favor. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.